on target number one, representing the Russian Federation, Valjima Tsenempelov. Well, we've got the uh, the men in here, but just before we let you go, just uh, just tell me, t next year, of course, you get a chance at the Olympics. Do you fancy your chances? Yeah, yeah. Next year, uh, uh, next year, the Indian girls team qualify for the next Olympics. So uh, after one month, India will uh, start for selection trial for Beijing Olympics. So we participate in this uh, selection trial. Well, congratulations. Great to see India getting goals. Uh, in this uh, competition and I know I have to let you go because you've got an award ceremony to get ready for so congratulations. Thank you so much, thanks a lot. Well done. That's uh, Dola Banerjee, the Indian who beat uh, Choi in the uh, final of the uh, women's recurve. We congratulate her and we will see her get her gold medal shortly. Meanwhile, we have to concentrate on the gold medal match for the recurve men, 12 arrows each man. And on those 12 arrows, $20,000 depends. Have you seen the two archers already? You've seen their stats. You know they're both right on the money here. Valjini Nima Terimpilov from Russia dominated the season. He has beaten Serrano and Dover, 108 to 107. Yeah. And with form like that, he might do it again. He's the only man who averages over 110 points in the World Cup so far. Juan, Juan René Serrano from Mexico, who uh, came back against Alan Wills and overhauled an advantage and got into this <laughs> final. And it's a high quality final, perfect so far. 10 in the first three arrows. Nine first one not to be perfect from Serrano, who averages 109, just over 109 points. There's a, just about a point difference between these two. Nine well. Chance perhaps for Serrano to get 10 here and keep the scores tied. And what a high quality match this is turning out to be. First three arrows gone, 29 points apiece. This uh, World Cup of archery, by the way, four stages for qualification. And then the final, the final next year, by the way, will be in India, in New Delhi, October the 19th, if you're watching this in India, in the New Delhi area, and you're keen at what you see. Perhaps you like to make a date, a very advanced date in your diary for that. We're also going to uh, Santa Domingo, to Croatia, back to Antalya in Turkey, and to France, to Bo. So, here we go. Fourth arrow for the Russian. Just missing out on the 10, just uh, centimeters away. That uh, 10 ring, just over 12 centimeters across. It's very close, but it looks like a nine as well. We stay neck and neck. 38 to 38. Four arrows apiece. Nine. Another nine. Certainly no stray arrows in the eight so far. Let's hope I haven't jinxed anybody. Eight. I have. <laughs> I apologize to Juan Reni Serrano. So you can hear the Russian contingent. Loved ones, coaches, they're all here. That's good from pull off. Serrano just needs to compose himself here. Get himself a 10. He's got a nine. So he keeps within touching distance at the halfway mark. 55 to 56. Serrano from Guadalajara. As I say, 23 years old. 
55 out of a possible 60 for him. A man who uh, says one of his hobbies is hunting, for which uh, he will need that bow probably. Quite a few of these uh, athletes to uh, get involved with hunting, using, I guess, this bow and arrow. Both the same height, 178 centimeters. Serrano, the uh, heavier of the two. Lots of uh, people enjoying the archery here, coming and going from the Madanac complex, full of uh, shops and entertainment venues. Oh, the uh, bow just slipping out. He's only got seven seconds. He's going to have to compose himself quickly here. Four seconds. Took all the time he had and got a 10. What composure there from the Mexican. Well, he did very well. That bow just jumping out of, uh, you can see there, the slot it sits on. And an eight from Terempilov. So that means that uh, Serrano goes from one point behind to one point ahead, 65 to 64. Nine. Not happy with it, but it'll keep him in the hunt here. Terempilov will need a 10 just to even things up again. You can see how long he's got left in the distance there. And a 10. We are tied. Could this be the match to go to a tiebreaker? Nine on the line. That's his three for this end. One more for Terempilov. And he gets a 10 to lead it by one. With three quarters of this match gone. 84 for that man there. Uh, four perfect scores. That one eight. Just the one score that lets him down a little bit. It's a lovely temperature here now in Dubai. The uh, sun behind the buildings. And you are normally guaranteed a decent sunset in Dubai with uh, very little cloud. Even here in winter, we do have the odd uh, day of torrential rain, as if you were watching the rugby sevens from Dubai last year. We had a whole day of uh, torrential rain, but uh, you would be very unlucky to come to Dubai and find that happening. More likely to get another day like this of uh, cloudless sunshine. Having said that, there's a puff of cloud behind the Burj Al Arab. And we come to the crunch in the last game here. The recurve. Gold medal match. One point in it, six hours left. And that's a poor shot from Serrano. And cheers of encouragement straight away from the Russians just to my left hand side here. For Kuba, as he's known. And that's a 10 by the look of it. It's three the advantage, two hours to go. And we may not see a tie break after all in these final matches. Nine. Nine is 100 for the Mexican. Can Terempilov hammer home his lead? Oh, I think he just about gets the nine. And eight would have made it interesting. Three points the difference. Last arrow for Juan Rene Serrano. Oh, the 10 is what you want. Now the pressure is on. Seven or better will be good enough for Balginima Terempilov. Uh, the Russian, who has dominated the season, will he dominate this World Cup final? He's got a nine. He does as well. First place in Dover, second place in Varese, and he is the champion of the recurve men final. Well, hands aloft. That's the uh, final cluster that clinched it for the Russian. Certainly very enjoyable match. Serrano, well, he's very young. You imagine that he will come back stronger. Only 23. Certainly recognised as an up-and-coming player. In the end, it was a two-point victory. Could have gone either way in the opening 
parts of this match. And the pictures that will appear in your papers being taken now. <laughs> Photographers around me already emailing these back to their newspapers back at base. The uh, wonders of modern technology. Dubai being a very successful venue, I think it's fair to say. And the spectators have certainly enjoyed themselves. Lots of uh, restaurants around here for them to enjoy an evening meal. Even perhaps sunset at the beach. But before we do that, don't you go anywhere because we have the presentations to be made here.